Six games on the docket. And here we go from the Watsko Center. And Brooks wins the tip against Aluma. Hurricanes in the white with the basketball first. Spirited defensive effort from Miami at the outset here. You can say the same thing about Virginia Tech. But Aluma finally breaks the seal. Gets two a little over four minutes into the ball game. The 2-0 lead is not going to stand, Brian. Aluma inside at Brooks again. Chance for an and one. Aluma continues to make plays inside for the Hokies. Jack's been one of those guys as of late. Been very active for Miami, especially around the rim and being able to finish on those dump offs and offensive putbacks. Yes. Augusti. Long still has not taken a field goal attempt. The leading scorer for the Canes. On the drive, Mutt hits the cutting Aluma for the stuff. Love Mutz and his versatility, especially at being about 6'8". Wong's first shot, rims out, Gak on the glass, puts it back up and in. He's a guy that's not a good three-point shooter. On the drive, McGusty off the glass. And he has its first lead up 8-7. Hunter Couture, you can't leave him open. He'll make you pay. Mutz looking for Aluma. Double comes immediately, and the cutting man, Bannis Hill, takes the dish from Aluma and scores. Mutz, Beatty, Couture, and there's a turnover. Wong the steal. Isaiah off balance, oh, gets it nice. to go. I, with no Chris Likes for most of the season, has been able to be not only a shot maker, but the leader for, for Miami and coming up with defensive plays, too. Bannisil off the catch. Am I going to have to Corey Alexander you today? Oh, calm, calm down. You're my friend. Corey's my, <laughs> my adversary at all times. Defense by Gak, and what he did is that he went straight up as he saw Luma coming to the basket again. His length has been really big. You see Cameron Augusti being able to fill it up. Emmy has decided that they're going to make sure that they have a second defender to help out. Beverly on the drive, gets it to go after it dead end off the bracket. All moving back and forth that last time you were able to see the penetration by Beverly in the finish. Third lead change of the half. Oh, um, Mutt saw a lane and takes it for two. A guy can score down low, and I like the fact that a big guy can definitely read the defense and, and make the good pass, too. Cam Augusti buries a three. He's in a double figures with 11. Has to get, not get caught reaching for the ball. Couture, better shooter, and he is a defender, and he buries his second three. You know, it's hard to develop chemistry, but when you look at the chemistry between Mutz and Aluma, you can tell that those are two guys that play well off each other. You see the high-low action. Mutz. And, and the and one by Mutz. Is a path for him to return, present potentially this week, which is big news for Virginia Tech. Elijah Olani goes baseline to the bucket. They get to a place and it may not be a particular fit, fit yeah. and take an opportunity to see nice Another move. transfer, Nasir Brooks, the former Bearcat, floats it in. Pushing Aluma off the box and then they're shading him with another defender, realizing that they'll go ahead and double off of Beatty. Oh, nice drive to the bucket, Justin Mutz. First foul on Gak. There are only seven total fouls for the two teams that have been called so far in the game. Aluma in a double figures now with 11. The fact that he was out with that, that knee sprain, came back and had some really big games for them. Yeah. And he got a little bit lucky in the fact that Pittsburgh was on pause. Three for Olani. It was set up by Wong being able to pull two defenders on that penetration to the baseline. Beatty gets it to go. Gonna get some kind of penetration, something at the rim. Wong over Beatty. I'll tell you what, Beatty's done a really nice job on Wong here in the first half. And there's another three for Elijah Olani. First turnover for Beatty. He's got about a two to one assist to turnover ratio for the season. See if Isaiah Wong can get going. So far, it's been McGusty who's had the hot hand, and that continues. He had been hot, struggled against Duke. Rediscovered the stroke today. Oh, Justin Mutz shows his outside touch. Augusti to the basket again. Chance for a three-point play for Augusti. Hokie's largest lead in the first half was five. Miami's largest lead was two. It's been close the entire way, and Bama 
Chris Hill brings the thunder for Virginia Tech. Looks healthy now. Skipping to the bucket, Olani. So here's one of the things that I don't see a lot of college coaches do. You got a play that's working. Three baskets, and then when they've got a foul, good to see them go back to, to running that, that play to get them some offense. Ali knocks down the three. And Mike Young takes a quick timeout. Bakes it. A looking for Aluma inside. He wasn't expecting the pass. Wong ahead for Walker to the basket and one. One of the things that we have not seen a lot from Miami is to be able to get out in transition. And yet Beattie's value defensively presumably is too much for Coach Young to take him out. Or how does BD take advantage of this at the other end of the floor? Well, he's going to be able to take that shot as you see uh, Aline get into the paint and knock down that shot. Only one field goal. Augusti has been the guy that's hurt Virginia Tech the most. Augusti and Olani, who again unbelievably gets it to go. Where do you think you'd be in the ACC right now after playing almost everybody in the league? And the tough question is a nice jumper. Vanessel has been a revelation today. You and I are very fortunate. Brooks inside oh, with power. Oh, oh Evan. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Talk about putting him on a poster. And how about Brooks? You see how low he's got Aluma and then put him on a poster. Oh, my God. You know, to, to quote my daughter, that was just downright disrespectful. Got it in the right spot and flushed it with authority. Bamisil finds Gasson. How about those two bench guys off Mike Young's pine? Miami back within one. Couture for three. Got it. Elijah gets it back outside for Beverly. Spinning on Couture, who defended it pretty well, but a better offensive play by Harlan Beverly. Still too strong. Mutz gets a rebound, kicks it to a wide open. Beatty for three! And, and he's got to shoot that shot. I mean, regardless if he's only less than a 29% shooter. Oh, great defense there. Bamisil picks the pocket of Brooks, keeps his balance, takes it all the way to the cup. And how about Bamisil? We talked about the fact that the guys have got to pick it up for Virginia Tech. Back to Bamisil, who was a big-time scorer in high school, 28 a game as a junior before he was hurt as a senior. Justin Mutz. Wasting too much time. You don't want your big guy dribbling around the free throw line. A great pass. Bamisil finding Mutz for another easy two. Nice dime, good movement by uh, Mutz. 62%, excuse me, 72% from the line. Four or five today. AC Player of the Year back in 2013. Aluma makes them both. Isaiah trying to create for himself. Now down to two. Has to launch. Not even close. And that's a shot clock violation. 26.2. He's got two at the line with his team trailing by one. And remember, Miami does not have a timeout. And Bama still as well. You want to make sure that you block out. For the lead. No. Emmy can look for the final shot to win it. Ahead it's McGusty with five. Back to Wong. He'll shoot the three. Good. Oh. With two seconds to go. Timeout called. To get the ball back over there. Right there, I thought he could have gone in and penetrate. Opted to give it to Wong. And then how about Wong with the 30-footer pulling it up? Money from behind the arc. Oh my God, you see the play again. Walking into it. Late recovery by Illumina, not wanting to foul. Isaiah Wong coming up with a dagger. Point one on the clock. Hokies need a three. Beatty gets it in. Couture, a good look. Oh! it, and we're going oh! overtime. <laughs> on the three from oh Hunter my. Couture at the buzzer. With the response, five more minutes on the clock. And you see the good, good play by Illumina setting up Hunter Couture. A lot of heat late. Hunter Couture stepping up and knocked down that three. Mutz backing down Walker. No call. Mutz gets two. Nice patient by Justin Mutz. And you saw Walker. Mutz has been that guy that's been able to get inside at will. Open man's beady. He'll take it. Walker taking it at Mutz to the basket. No. Battle for the board. Still free. And it is Virginia Tech basketball. 
Hunter Couture running the offense to the elbow. It's Muntz give off to Aline. Little teardrop for two. Nice shot being able to get Aline to his left hand. Wong making a move with 10. Kicks it. Olani steps inside the arc on the runner. No, it's an offensive foul. You've got the easier job, just to give your opinions without much ramification. Absolutely. Well, there's a lot of <laughs> ramification. I'm going to hear from my wife. One and one on. here. Makes the first. Miami does have a timeout. If Couture makes this one at Miami, you want a quick two. Well, it's a two-possession game. Augusti throws it length to the court. Justin Mutz has been the star. He picks it off, and the Hokies win. Virginia Tech survives and prevails in overtime.